Hi everybody, my name is Matt Long. I'm a professional sand sculptor, and I'd like to give you a look inside of a sand sculptor's toolkit. Here's some of the things that I use. Sometimes we have to draw a circle. We have a compass. It's homemade. Lots of times you'll want me drawing a circle, and there you go. Little homemade compass. Here's a piece of metal. It's not a big deal, it's a simple piece of brass. And when we're doing large shapes, sometimes we'll use this to take big sections of sand at a time. When you go to the uh, hardware store, in the mason supply, there are ordinary everyday mason's trowels. These are critical for so many things. We'll use this often enough to smooth out a surface when we're working. And we'll also use this to make rocks, rock formations by doing simple chop aways. Very standard procedure for creating slate sort of stone formations. In the same hardware store, there are offset mason trowels. Very simple, there's a two inch, there's a one inch. They have others, don't waste your money. These are the guys that you're going to need. And again, it's for shaping, carving, removing sand. You can use it for your rocks, you can use it for lots of things. But you see how nice it carves the sand for you. The offset makes it easy to work as well. Another place where we get sand tools is at art supply stores. It's one of my favorite tools for shaping, particularly for doing faces and so forth. These are all palette knives, and if you are going to make an eyeball of sorts, this is a very good tool for reaching in. Again, it's offset. For me, everything that's offset seems to work very nicely. These other palette knives are for different degrees of detail, the finer the detail, the finer the tool. Here's a different palette knife, very sharp point. This is a great tool for carving perfectly round holes. You put the point in and work it like a drill. Then we have your standard flat face palette knives. Again, they're all set. I use these a lot for lettering. If I'm doing a lettering, I may, I may want one of these because it cuts in so nicely. And that's the way that might be used. These others are also palette knives, and again, different degrees of details, different degrees of tool. I'll put those over there. One of my favorite tools is an offset pastry knife. You can get this at any kitchen supply. They usually have a rounded top. I ground this one square. I also put a little sharper edge on it. But this is a fabulous tool for carving sand. Again, it's offset. You can do overhangs with it. You can cut windows with it. Here's something that's in every kitchen, just a little soup spoon. I like this nice round bottom soup spoon. If I need to make a nice round hole, this spoon will do it. A paintbrush. It's just good for removing sand if you're doing a large flat area and you want to smooth it out. The paintbrush works extremely well. It is often followed up with an ordinary everyday feather duster. And that will give your sand an almost concrete or marble type effect. Now we'll move on to a set of tools which are created by a very well-known iconic sand sculptor in South Padre Island, Texas by the name of Amazing Walter McDonald. There's a round loop tool and it does just what you would expect cuts a nice loop into things. Waller has this particular tool which he uses for making two castle windows together at the same time. And that's just what he uses them for. This is one of my favorite tools. It's a double-ended tool. This end I use a lot for lettering, for cleaning up sharp details. If I need to get something really clean in here and tight, this is the tool to do it with. The other tip which comes to a point, this is perfect for etching. And I'll use this if I'm going to lay out some letters, anything that needs to be etched in sand before it's actually carved, this is a great tool. Walter has these V-shaped tools, also good for lettering, so maybe you do the outline with this first, and then this would cut it deeper for you. In our toolkit, we sometimes carry models. You may have seen this before. Well, we use a model as a guide for something that we're carving, if it's common and simple. Here I have a dolphin and a Nemo fish. The straw is one of the most important tools in sand. It's great for getting rid of loose particles of sand, but not getting the sand in your eyes. These come out of the Netherlands. They create 
a perfect sphere in the sand. We also use a spray bottle. Sometimes you'll see how the sand is dried out on the surface. We'll spritz it a little bit. Over here I have a garden sprayer. And what I do with this garden sprayer on occasion is fill it with a mixture of Elmer's glue and water. And I'd spray a light coat of it over my castle or sculpture. It creates a fixative. And this castle could last weeks after a few applications of the uh, mixture. We've covered just about everything that I carry in my kit. It's gotten me to the world championship, so I think maybe you want to try it.